96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Okay. All right. So Pastor Emilio is hiding. He had tons of time to hide. So this is going to be really tricky. So I could really use your guys' help. Let's find him. Hey. Really? Really? Like... You can't see me. You had a hundred seconds. I'm invisible. Are you... What? Let's start the El Kid show. Do you need like another hundred seconds? Let's do another hundred... Let's start okay. the show. Yeah, please One, do. Two, three, four, five. Hey, and welcome to The Alkid Show. I'm Pastor Emilio, and today we're continuing our series, Seek and Find. That's right. He's not too good at the hiding, but I'm Pastor Ivalani, and in the series, we're on a mission to seek amazing truths about God and how we can find Him in our everyday lives. Last time, we learned that when we seek God, we will find Him. That's right. Today, we're going to go even deeper and discover that when we seek Jesus, we learn from Him. Jesus is the greatest teacher we could ever have. He has so much wisdom and love to share with us, and he wants us to come to him with an open heart and mind, ready to learn and grow. But before we get into today's lesson, we've got a little challenge for you. Little we've challenge. hidden our series where somewhere on the set. Are you ready to help us seek and find it? Let's do it, okay. So do you guys see it anywhere first before we dive into it? Anywhere, anywhere. Keep your eyes peeled now, okay. Do you see the Bible verse? Because I don't see it. Yeah. Mm. Could it be over? It could it be over? No. I, I Wait, mean, did you actually hide it though? Yeah. It's hidden. It's hidden. What? Did you see it? Let me. Let, let's 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 check over here. Let's check. We have to check. I found it. Where? I Where? found it. Oh my gosh. That? That was good. Like, because I saw the Y and Y and like it just blended. That's... That's a good one. Blended. Okay. I bet some of you were like, I already found it like instantly. And you're crazy. yelling at us. But it's <laughs> hard to hear you. So yeah. um, our verse, it's awesome. Let's get into it. It's found in Jeremiah 29, 13. And it says, you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. See, I didn't even need the paper. It was already like. That's skill. Using my brain. That is skill. Well, okay, do you know every week? When we talk about the word of God, we have to repeat it loud and proud. So repeat after mm. me. Are you ready? I'm ready. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Jeremiah 29:13. Awesome boom, job. Boom, boom. This verse, guys, is guiding us through our series, boom, boom. reminding us that when we truly seek God, we will find them oh, with yeah. all of our heart. All of our heart. Today's lesson point is all about learning from Jesus. And our main point for today is... When, when I, I seek Jesus, Jesus I, I learn, learn from, from him. him. We are going to explore how seeking Jesus helps us grow and learn. Oh. Just like how you helped us find the hidden verse, seeking Jesus helps us find wisdom and guidance for our lives. So let's get ready to dive into today's story and discover how we can learn from Jesus. Stay tuned because we've got a great show for you today. We'll be back in just a bit. So don't go anywhere. No, seriously, don't move. Don't move. Stay still. Stay. Don't, you don't move. Never find this guy. Where is Walt? Hey. Sorry. Ready or not, oh kids, Pastor Taylor here, and today we are in one of the best places to learn, the library, or as they say in Espanol, biblioteca. Yes, I am bilingual. See, libraries are full of books that can teach us about animals, colors, different countries, and so much more. <clears throat> like this book about animals. Did you know there are over 8.7 million species of animals on Earth? Incredible, right? Okay. You don't like that? What's, you don't, you know? Okay, what about colors? Look at these vibrant shades. 
these hues look red and, and oranges and gold. They make our world beautiful, all right? But if that doesn't tickle your fancy, I know what will. Check this bad boy out. This is an atlas. It talks about different countries. It shows us how diverse and amazing our planet is, dude. But the most important book of all time, in all of history, in the entire universe is the B-I-B-L-E. Full of wisdom, truths, everything that guides our daily lives. So let's jump right in and find our story in the book of Luke. Today's story comes from Luke chapter 2, 41 through 52. And it's about Jesus when he was a kid, not much older than some of you. See, every year Jesus' family traveled to Jerusalem for the feast of the Passover. And when Jesus was 12 years old, they made their usual trip, but this time something different happened. After a huge feast, Mary and Joseph started their journey home, thinking Jesus had to be with them, right? But they traveled for a whole day before realizing Jesus was not with the group. Let's just say he wasn't playing hide and seek from his parents, all right? So yeah, they, they forgot him. My parents did that once to me and uh, one day they'll find me. But anyways, can you imagine how worried they must have been? They rushed back to Jerusalem and they searched for him for three days. Three days. That's a lot of looking for someone. That's a lot, it's a lot of days. Finally, they found him in the temple courts, sitting with the teachers, listening to them and asking questions. How amazing is that? Jesus wasn't just listening, he was also teaching at 12. The Bible says that everyone who heard him was amazed at his understanding. Even at 12 years old, Jesus was full of wisdom because he sought his father and his teachings. When Mary and Joseph found him, they asked why he had stayed behind and Jesus replied, didn't you know I had to be in my father's house? Even as a child, Jesus understood the importance of seeking God and being in his presence. This story teaches us a powerful lesson about the importance of seeking Jesus and learning from him. Jesus made it a priority to be in his father's house, to listen, to ask questions. He showed us that when we seek God, we gain wisdom and understanding that can guide our lives. A key verse for today is Matthew chapter seven, verse seven. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. Jesus promises that when we seek him, we're gonna find him, just like he found wisdom in the temple. So L kids, remember that when you seek Jesus, you learn from him and he's got so much to teach us about love, kindness, and living a life that honors God. And just like Jesus was in the temple, make it a priority to seek him, to listen, and to learn. That's it for today's Bible story, but we'll see you next time. Welcome back to Game Time! That's right, and we have a game of Seek and Find. Bible edition. Bible verse edition. Bible verse edition. Right, we know that Jesus is the true treasure because he gives us all the wisdom, and we are going to see if we can seek out and find Jesus. Um, so let's break down how it works. There are 16 boxes over here and 16 boxes over there and out of these 16 only four of the boxes actually have real treasure which is jesus inside of them when you find jesus you're allowed to write how many words four words of the bible verse mm -hmm. and the first person to write our series bible verse out which is jeremiah 29 13 you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all of your heart first person to do that wins now Explain the kicker. Here's How do the we kicker. have this stuff? If you find a box that ha does not have a Jesus in them, then you have to it's eat empty. either a Twinkie or a banana. But you cannot continue seeking Jesus until you have finished said Twinkie or banana. Yeah. So that'll be fun. So we made sure that we we thought about the food pyramid. That's right. Which is a scheme, children. Scheme. Um, but, it, uh, but we're trying to get healthy and... A little sweet. The right option. That's the right. The better option. Okay, so let's get started. Are we ready? Are you ready? Am I ready? Let's. So we'll just go at the same time. I guess. Yes. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I don't know. It's All right. Person Three, ready. two. I'm so nervous. One, go. <gasps> okay. Okay. Oh, I found a Jesus. Hold on. So I get to write. Okay. You will oh, seek me. Okay, that's forward. Wait, you will find me, right? Oh wait. You will find me. 
Oh my gosh. We don't even know the verse and it's in front of us. Okay, hold on. Okay. Okay. Got a lot of Bible verses. Oh, oh no, no, no. Mm. No, 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 no. Yo, Jesus. Uh -huh. oh, so, okay, wait, I can't waste time. I can't, I can't, I can't celebrate because I might find the next one. Uh, you'll seek me and find me when you seek me. When you <laughs> How you doing over there? When you seek me. Okay. No! Did you find an empty one? Oh, okay. Jesus. No! Oh. Okay, no! It's empty! Mm. I'm going for a banana because kids, mm. health mm. and nutrition mm. is important. Mm -mm -mm. Oh gosh. I could go run a mile after this. Yeah. I eat more. Mm. Oh no! No! Oh my gosh. Ah. <laughs> Maybe go for ah. a banana. Yeah. I just said that because it's really hard, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's time consuming. Mmm, I can feel it entering my tummy. I shouldn't eat that because I'm not good with that, but this is so hard to eat. No, it's not. It's so easy. Eat the banana. It's better for you. You looked for a smaller one? <laughs> oh, this banana. You eat the banana, you monkey. What's the matter with you? Oh my goodness. That is not how you should eat that. I'm trying to eat fast, but. My mouth can only trip more. Please don't learn, please don't learn. Mm. Yeah! Thank oh. you, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> this is scary. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> this is terrifying. Man, I don't want to open a box already open, so let's move that. That would be sad. Okay. Mm -hmm. No! It's a trick! Oh. It's a trick! It's a trick! I don't like tricks! Tricks are for kids. <laughs> <laughs> Why aren't you going for Twinkies? I'm going to There's so much... Perfect. Oh! Hey there! L Kids, Mariah here. Ready to hear another powerful verse? Today's verse is from Matthew eleven twenty nine. Let's check it out. Jesus says, Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. A yoke is like a tool that helps two animals work together. Jesus is inviting us to be yoked with him, which means he wants to walk with us, teach us, and help us carry our burdens. Think of it like this whiteboard. When we seek Jesus, we come to his classroom and he is the best teacher ever. He teaches us how to love, how to be kind, how to live our lives in the best way possible. And here's the best part. Jesus says that when we learn from him, we will find rest for our souls. It's like finding the most comfortable, peaceful rest ever. And when we're with Jesus, he gives us peace and rest in our hearts. Remember our main point for today. When I seek Jesus, I learn from him. Jesus is the best teacher we could ever have, and he wants us to come to him and learn. So, L kids, let's commit to seeking Jesus every day. Let's learn from him and find the rest and peace that only he can give. All right, let's get back to the L kids show. Keep seeking and learning, and I'll see you next time. I don't know, kids. Diabetes is real, and I'm trying to... <laughs> Look at me in the eyes. Look at me in the eyes. Bro, you have to go to the bathroom later. Be it's careful. Bad. Wait, don't they make you not go to the bathroom? Mm. I don't know. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my God! These bananas are big!
organic. My tummy's saying no. <laughs> I'm so scared. Yeah, I'm for real scared. count um doing you when, uh, wait when you seek me when you seek me one two three four when you seek did i write this wrong the first time you will seek me and find me when you seek me What the heck is happening over here? <laughs> no! Oh, it's gonna be like, yes, Lord, favor is upon me. Gosh. <laughs> Let me look at me. You have some banana in your you have banana in your No, I won't. Not your happy. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. I'm so defeated right now. What is she a Twinkie? What are you at five? <laughs> I didn't realize how many times you found it. Mmm, good for you. Mmm. I'm scared that I'm gonna eat this fast and just have to eat another one. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'm getting my open boxes mixed up with my not open boxes. Blast! That's game. Okay, kids. Don't make me do it. No, did you open a box? Yeah, I opened a box. Oh, it was sir. Empty. You won. You're the no. last banana. <laughs> you have to eat it. <laughs> no, you have to eat it. You have to eat it. <laughs> yes, kid. That's my price. It hurts. Go ahead, write it. Go oh. ahead. Come on. Go ahead. I'm writing it. Jeremiah. Sorry. Oh, this was bad, boys. This is bad, boys. No, this is healthy. <laughs> Go! Go! <laughs> Well, that's it for game time, and you don't have to stop. No. Well, we'll catch you back in just a minute. Um, I found Jesus and a lot of bananas. Catch you back in just a minute. It's good for you. Potassium. <laughs> no, swallow it. You guys swallow. <laughs> hey, I'm Lauren. And today we're gonna find out how many this or that questions I can answer in 90 seconds. So feel free to join along or not. I'm looking at you in the blue shirt. Okay, ready, timer, go. In the game of hide and seek, would you rather be the seeker or the hider? Mm, probably the hider. Would you rather pee anytime you sneeze or fart anytime someone says your name? Oh my goodness. Um. <laughs> Pee every time I sneeze. Would you rather have hands for feet or feet for hands? Uh, hands for feet. Would you rather always feel soggy or always feel sandy? I don't even know what that question means, but probably sandy. I like the beach. <laughs> Would you rather never sing or never dance again? <sighs> never dance. Would you rather have a dog that looks like a baby or a baby that looks like a dog? Either one is terrifying, but I pr <laughs> I probably would rather have a dog that looks like a baby. <laughs> would you rather have a nose like an elephant's trunk or a neck like a giraffe's? What do you mean, would you rather? I'm just kidding. <laughs> probably, <laughs> probably a neck like a giraffe's neck. Would you rather shave your eyebrows or dye your eyebrows pink? Um, I'll shave them off. Would you rather eat a can of dog food or eat a rotten banana? Hey, rotten bananas make good banana bread. So I'll go with a rotten banana. All right, time's up. How many did I get? You got nine. That's awesome. I think. Is that good? What do you guys think? Well, that's it for me. I'll see you guys next time. Welcome to Quiz Time.
Are you ready to play Seek and Find? You will choose a shape that best fits your answer. Here is your question. In our journey to seek God, what did we learn about seeking Jesus from today's lesson? Please select your shape. Shape number one. When I seek Jesus, I'll get everything I want. Shape number two. When I seek Jesus, I learn from him and grow. Shape number three. When I seek Jesus, I find what I am looking for. You have just a few moments to lock in your guess. The correct shape is shape number two. When we seek Jesus, we learn from him and grow. As we learned in our lesson, seeking Jesus helps us understand more about him and how we should live. Great job. Remember, seeking Jesus helps us grow and learn more about his love and teachings. Thank you for joining me at Quiz Time. Well, today has been a pretty great day. We found out how valuable it is to seek the word of God and learn from Jesus. Absolutely. Just like our game, where we're out to seek and find our verse, today's Bible story showed us how important it is to seek Jesus and learn from him. Oh yes, and in our story, we saw how people came to Jesus to hear his teachings. They were excited to learn from him because they knew what he had to say was valuable and life-changing. And that's our main point for today. When I seek Jesus, yes. I learn from him. By yes. seeking Jesus, we can find wisdom, guidance, and the answers to the easy and hard questions. That's right. So remember our series verse, though, that we found earlier from Jeremiah 29, 13. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. This verse reminds us that when we truly seek Jesus with all our hearts, we will find him and learn from him. And just like the people in the Bible story, we should be excited and motivated to come to Jesus, to listen to his teachings and apply them in our lives. When we do that, we grow in our faith and become more like him. Maybe today you're feeling like you want to know Jesus better, to seek him and learn from him. If that's you, we want to give you the opportunity to start a personal relationship with Jesus right now. So let's all take a moment, yes. close our eyes and bow our heads. <sighs> if you're ready to invite Jesus into your heart to seek him and learn from him every day, I want you to raise your hand on the count of three. Ready? One, two, two three. three. Well, there we go. That's incredible. Go. All right. Well, it's time to pray. So as we pray, this is very important. You have to put power in the words that you are saying. I can't do anything for you other than lead you in the prayer. It's you talking to God that does everything. So let's close our eyes, bow our heads and repeat after me. Dear Heavenly Father, I love you and I thank you for sending your perfect son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for me. I believe in my heart and confess with my mouth, you are my Lord. I ask you to forgive me of all my sin. And I thank you for your wisdom and guidance. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And we are going to celebrate. We are going to celebrate. Let's do this. We are going to celebrate. I want to do a little more celebrate guys first. Okay, now. All right. Boom, 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 boom. Way to go out, kids. If you prayed that prayer for the first time, or even if it's a prayer you prayed before, you should know that you have made the best decision of your life. Your life. Now, remember, seeking Jesus and learning from him is a lifelong journey. He's always there, ready to guide you and teach you, no matter where you are or what you're facing. So keep seeking, keep learning, and remember, Jesus is the greatest teacher we could ever have. Ever. He loves you, and he wants to help you grow. Yes, that's right. Well, um, that's all for today's episode of The Elka Show. We hope you had uh, tons of fun, because we know we did, and uh, hope you learned about seeking Jesus. So uh, 
and we'll see you next time. Until then, goodbye, owl kids. Toodaloo now. So I think I'm gonna show you how to actually hide. I was pretty much invisible. I, I'm just saying, I'm pretty sure the owl kids tipped you off. I was invisible, I'm telling you. So hiding means like not being visible. Right, exactly, I was invisible. No, like, invisible. I, like invisible. you can't see. Come on, man. Like...